Within Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane's Platform and Launch Systems Division, we are the Polymers and Undersea Sensors Branch. Here we build and repair various rubber and polymer products used by surface and subsurface platforms to detect potential threats. Our job is to protect our warfighters and naval vessels from harm. We have several constant challenges. One is ruggedness. Nearly every product we create is used in a harsh corrosive environment. To extend the service life of these items, our engineers use materials that can withstand extremes. We use polymers to protect metal connections and create watertight seals. We constantly look for new compounds that can do the job even better. Another challenge is uniqueness. Many of the items we need are not readily available. Sometimes we have to make them ourselves. Today, we'll look at adding manufacturing and how we use it here in our branch for rapid prototyping to explore engineering solutions and refine ideas. It's one key to designing and developing products that are ideal for their intended purpose. We currently have two FDM 3D printers we use to create items in ABS plastic. We'll soon install a third polyjet printer that works on a much larger scale and has the capability to print multiple different materials in a single build. One key benefit to prototyping with these tools is that complex geometry does not add cost to the end product compared to the price tag of creating a prototype in a machine shop. We save thousands of dollars and weeks of time when we prototype with these tools. Once we have refined a concept using plastics, we can create the same item using this metal 3D printer. Although the front end cost is more expensive because of materials used and the cost of the printer, we still realize significant savings in life cycle cost and time to production. Another critical benefit is communication. Not everybody is a strong abstract spatial thinker. Giving stakeholders an item that they can see, touch, and even turn over in their hands is invaluable to ensure better understanding among decision makers. Let's look at some practical applications. Shipyard installation teams had to hand tighten coupling nuts for the TR-343 transducers and connecting cables. At the end of their shifts, their hands were cut and blistered. We created a plastic model of a tool that snugly covers over the coupling nuts and fits more comfortably in a person's hand. Once it was proven, we produced the same item in metal. Now installation teams are able to accomplish this task more quickly with improved connections and much less likely to be injured. Another project deals with the ANSQS 53C sonar system, a significant activity in our branch. These sensors are the eyes and ears of the Navy. Until recently, maintenance technicians could spot sensor failures but had no easy way to identify where the failure was occurring. Our response was to design a test box. This test box was created entirely in-house using commercial off-the-shelf items and additive manufactured components. Thanks to the design and materials, it meets all the requirements set forth by the engineering design team. More importantly, it is used to quickly diagnose sensor faults so vital repairs can be made and blind spots in the sonar system can be completely eliminated. As you have seen in our branch, our chemical, electrical, and mechanical engineers work together with our expert technicians and logisticians to achieve mission success. Rapid prototyping is just one of many capabilities we use to respond to fleet needs. We look forward to showing you more soon.